Good evening, everyone. I'm your host, Steph. I am going to be cooking up some chicken today. I'm going to cook a whole chicken, and I'm going to use the Ninja Foodie Tender Crisp in order to do it. So, all in all, I want to keep the meal pretty simple, pretty basic. And so, what I'm going to do first is I am going to use some of this butter, and I'm going to inject the chicken with some of this butter. So you want to take the butter, you want to inject it all over the chicken. I try to get it into the breast, uh, certainly uh, up in there as far as I can. And then I like to give it a little squirt in the drummies. I like to do that. So I like to give it just a nice little portion of butter. It'll help tenderize it a little bit. I'm going to use the rest of this butter later on when I want to tender crisp the chicken. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put some seasoning on. So I like these Weber ones. The kicking chicken one uh, is really good. So I'm just going to sprinkle that. And I do have the chicken uh, breast side down right now. So I'm just going to put a little sprinkle on there. And then I also like the Weber garlic jalapeno. That's a really good one too. Uh, but they're at Sam's Club. You can get them some other places too. You just can't find as good of a deal. So these come in bigger quantities. and. A lot cheaper for sure at Sam's Club. So anyway, I like to give it a little pepper, sprinkle like that. And all in all, this meal, a little salt, this meal's not going to take very long. Um, less than an hour, so that's not too bad. I like to put a little chipotle chili seasoning on there. And then the last thing I'll do, I'll, so I'll sprinkle some garlic on there. Get that garlic moved around. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the basket. So I'm going to put on some gloves for this. I like to use the disposable gloves from Sam's Club as well. I tell you, I can churn through a lot of these and I love them because they just go on real easy and then you can pick the chicken up, turn it over. Just like that. All right, so now I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. Put a little sprinkle on this side as well. I'm gonna cook the chicken with the breast side up. Put a little salt on there, but definitely want the breast side up and then chipotle. This is a chipotle chili powder. I like to use it in my salsa as well, but maybe give it a little different flavor. Then you want to get a, uh, that spread of garlic on there and just mix it around a little bit. Um, you'll smell that garlic while you're cooking too. So, all right, so we're going to pop it in the foodie. All right, so you want to take your lid and it just sits on here like so. And you want to come down here and hit pressure. And you might have to hit it twice and then get it on high. And then you want to go over here to the time and you want to put 22 minutes. Uh, 22 minutes for the chicken gets it to 165 degrees internally so and then you hit the start button and so what it's going to do you want to make sure your vent back here is closed that's very important it will pressurize first uh, you'll see this little spin thing um, once it gets pressurized again make sure your vent is closed but it'll pressurize and then the timer will start for 22 minutes and uh, that's when we'll come back in Check it out. See you then. So it's done, and we're going to let the pressure cooker cool down for about five minutes, and it's uh, going to de-steam itself. And at five minute mark, then we'll manually take the pressure off. So, see you in five. Okay, we just hit five minutes, and we're going to go ahead and vent. <laughs> Vent it slowly. Might even want to turn it away from the counter a little bit so it doesn't get all that steam up and underneath your. So just go ahead and let it uh, release the pressure just like this, and in just a minute or so, it'll be ready. So we're going to open the lid. All the steam is off. 
we're going to set that to the side. And then um, you want to use like, um, I don't know, extra virgin oil or some type of sauce. I'm going to use this butter that I used earlier to inject, but I'm going to just pat it on top of this. Do a nice little coating. Um, this is going to help it crisp up when you turn the tender crisp on. So, very exciting. And I wish y'all could smell it because that garlic earlier, boy, it was just radiating through. So, anyway, I'll put this in the sink. Okay, now it's time to close the lid. This is the tender crisp part. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to turn it on air crisp right here. You're going to click it up to 400 degrees. It's going to start on 390. And then on time, you're going to want to put it on about uh, 16 minutes uh, of tender crisp. And we're going to hit start. All right, so now she's fired up. Uh, we'll come back in about 15, 16 minutes and we'll see what it looks like. So once the timer goes off, just lift the lid and then you have this golden brown chicken. And I'm gonna pull it out here. So you just turn the basket over like this and there's your chicken. Now. It's going to look a little soft on the um, underside because we didn't crisp that side. So anyway, I'm going to take another plate and I'm just going to turn it upside down and try not to make a mess. So, All right, so there's our chicken. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I did test a thermometer in it. Uh, you want to make sure that your chicken is 165 degrees and it's internal temperature. So um, I hope you all enjoy. And I hope you enjoy watching my program. So if you like it, please like me on the bottom there uh, with the thumbs up. And uh, come back for more because I'll have some more recipes coming at you. Take care of yourself.